Welcome to the story of Liberty. This is John Bonner. Lawrence of Rome, serving from 225 to 258 AD. According to Christian tradition, the Holy Grail is a relic that was sent by St. Lawrence to his parents in northern Aragon. While the Holy Chalice exact journey through the centuries has been disputed, it is generally accepted by Catholics that the chalice was sent by his family to a monastery for preservation. On a given day, though, the governor of Rome demanded that Lawrence, who was the bishop of a church in Rome that met in the catacombs and who fed and cared for more than 1,500 needy people, that Lawrence turn over all the tithing funds all the gold and silver vessels used in the services of the church. This tyrant governor wanted all the wealth for himself. One of the great early church fathers, Ambrose, in the earliest source for that story, is that they dragged and arrested Lawrence and demanded the church assets. Lawrence, when he came before the governor, he asked for three days to gather together the wealth that the governor was asking for. He said, In three days I will bring before you the greatest treasures of the church. So on the third day he presented himself to the governor, and when ordered to give up the treasures of the church, he presented the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the suffering the orphans and the widows, the helpless and the weak. And he said to the governor that these were the true treasures of the church. Other accounts record him declaring to the governor, the church is truly rich, far richer than your emperor. These you see before you are the true treasures of the church. In these widows and orphans, You behold her gold and her silver, her pearls and precious stones. These are her real riches. Make use of them, Governor, by asking for their prayers, for they will prove your best weapons against your enemies. Well, this led directly to his martyrdom. The Governor was enraged with the comments from Lawrence, and he ordered his army to burn Lawrence at the stake. But Lawrence did not cry out from that stake in the flames of that fire. But in his death, he prayed for the conversion of the entire Roman Empire. Eventually, paganism was defeated in that Roman Empire. The people began, they saved the abandoned children and those threatened by abortion. They cared for the needy, both Christians and others alike. And by the 10th century, when pagan Europe was converted, there were over 20,000 Christian hospitals in cities and monasteries across the continent. Lawrence, the great bishop,